You're you're in a neutral. No platforms to hide behind. Footsies the, everywhere. What footsies everywhere? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Send me over to the traditional fighters at this rate. <laughs> uh, have, you, have you played Olympia? Yeah, I have. It's fun. It, cra are you are you entering the crag into Olympia p pipeline? Oh no, I'm still sticking with crag. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. My hands are getting too old to do that kind of shenanigans. Ah, uh, fair, fair. Fair, but um. But yeah, uh, getting this first match underway between uh, Sibo and Kuro here. And Kuro definitely swift, swiftly, like swiftly, swiftly beat um. Uh, was it uh? It was one of the Orcane players. Yeah. Denji. Denji. Denji, yeah. Yeah, but oh, again, that oh. cape just catching a lot of these approaches here. I'm sorry, hold on a second. I'll get to hold down the fort. Because this cape holds down the fort and opens up a lot of these combos here. Alright. Hey, I mean, hey, it's me, Phil and Fazina, while she goes through things. Alright, Koro, uh, she has said it herself, she loves mm -hmm. matching with SK. And All basically, right. what she does is yep. kind of skill checks people. And this is yep. basically a check for her, whether or not she has to go to ROM. So, uh, okay. this is usually how Koro approaches her sets. And I'm very in interested to see how, like, Zeebo kind of, like, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm... I can definitely see that coming out in a lot of the things that are going on with that gameplay. Yeah. But the problem is, Cape is just disjoining so much of it that it's yeah. causing a problem here. Alright. Right. She's back. I'm gonna get out yeah. of here. Yeah. I'm back. I, I, I remember, remember Kuro, Kuro doing that doing that to me when, when we played on RC a while ago. Huh. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I'm ever gonna get the chance to enter RC. Uh huh. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah. One and done for the other amateur series. Oh, oh, I see. I already yeah. graduated Raz, but yeah. Yeah, I started entering them too late. Mm. Oh, there we go, another good parry, and yeah. this is definitely a solid lead here for Sibo. Yeah. yeah. Very, very dominant with the uh, four. Four so far has uh, has all three smoke stacks active. It seems. Uh, so yep. I can use it to help recover, recover, or maybe even get. Get a really early kill with uh, Ooh. with um, with Blast, but unfortunately it doesn't doesn't pop it, pop it off stage. Yeah, sometimes there's that hope that you'll be able to make it back to the wall and save it, but in that situation you definitely had to pop it in order to make it back to the stage. Yeah, yeah. I think it's up strong, and then up air up air, unfortunately not work not working. Buys, buys the horn. Yep, definitely a good tool against Horsburn because it covers a lot of space, so it makes it a little easier to cover that recovery that he has. Yeah, then probably get then probably get clearing smoke because it's really big. Oh, so it gets get some side B, gets the F strong, doesn't quite kill. Ah, uh, doesn't quite get the horn horn hit she was looking for, and the up strong doing it. Yep. Very, very strong move. Yeah, so now that they've made it past the double knight check, we'll see if we get the Rano in the next game. Because that keep it was definitely disjoining so much stuff and making it difficult for Kuro to even get in against Sibo here. Yeah, Cape is a very good... It's very, it's very good snuffing out some... Some like grounded approaches, yep. and then like high approaches because it is it is pretty wide up. Yeah, like like long. Yeah. So uh, going into game two here, despite my preference for this stage, I will say this is a in an unbiased way. I will say this is a good counter pick against Forsburn because Forsburn definitely loves to have platforms to be able to boost off of because otherwise his movement speed in terms of the cast it's just barely above the middle of the pack so his movement definitely suffers on the stage and on top of that having no platforms to mix up the 
up B recoveries to makes it a lot more dangerous for Forsburn to recover onto the stage here because you're going to the ground no matter what. There's nowhere else to mix up where you're going. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, not quite getting the. Oop. Well, there nice we go. Get... Oh. Nice combo. The down tilt back air. Uh, up air. Oh. And... Oh. Nice. Ah, can't jump into that. A nice up air can kill. Can definitely get, get very cheeky kills with, with that up air. Oh, uh, yep. tries to read something, but doesn't quite get it. Ooh! Very nice catch with the cape there. Yep. Down to. There Yep, Gets gotta that punish nice that bull. I'm really trying to get these up up capes. Nope. Nice. There we go. Nice little confirm with the clone. Gets the parry. Misses the back air though. Oh, actually uh, teleporting directly out of the stage there, catching Uro off guard. Yeah. That's definitely gonna be like like hard to catch catch sometimes. Sometimes not yep. when you're doing you don't expect when you expect them to like just like reappear into smoke or uh or like anywhere else. Oh, oh it doesn't quite space that that strong strong Yeah strong. that was that was some good drift back there from Sebo because there was just barely a little bit of stage yep. blow them to work with. Yeah. yeah. Oh and that smoke to try and yep. Confuse and yep. distract. Yep. It's working. Yeah. Oh, uses the uses as a shield. Uses as a shield. Back air, not quite. Game to confirm she was looking for. Mm. Oh, and nice just hold on that. Just yeah. waiting out to see what the option was. Huh. All right. One can actually tank a hit now from the ghost glove. Unfortunately, not able to tank all the hits, so yeah. Goro is still able to take off that stock and starting to rack up some good damage here. Yeah, they're both on their last last stock. Hopefully, hopefully the uh, and hopefully Crow's counter pick or Crow hopes, hopes that their her counter pick works here. Yep. Oh. Had the right idea there, but unfortunately not the right timing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh tried to parry that. I respect oh, that. Funny. Oh, oh, getting hit by rock. Oh, gets the cape up, cape up tilt, and down nice. Oh, getting the weird, the weird hit of down. Yeah. Being yeah. a weird hit. Down air. Yeah, I, I like the patience that I'm seeing out of Sibo in a lot of these kill situations because Sibo's putting Kuro into these awkward spots at the edge of the stage or when they're at a kill percent, and just waiting to see what. Kuro does, and just choose the punish based on that, and it's really working out for Sibo. Yeah. Yep. Kur yeah, Kuro, uh... uh... It looks like Kuro's going back to FD. Train, um... Training room. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that far off when you look at the overall set. It's just yeah. a matter of a little bit of fine-tuning and just trying to avoid some of those kill situations. Yeah. Oh, getting those, like, cape loops. Oh. Oh, uh, waiting, waiting for the, uh... Sloan oh. actually giving an extension there on the F-Strong. Yeah. Oh. Uh, ni nice, nice wait. Gets the back air. Yep. Very good disjointed move to use against Forsburn. Nice tech chase into the down, down strong as well. With again the extension off of the clone there. Yeah, it's so far so far really donked from Kuro. Yeah, I mean this is what we needed to see in the last game. Just yeah, controlling the ground, not letting yeah. Forsburn have an easy time to get back on stage. Holding the f holding the f forwards are a little bit too long. Yep. Poking in uh, with just the... a little bit of patience gets the gets the backer not still not quite killing that's actually quite surprising. Oh, what's the backer dash attack? Oh, oh, that doesn't try going for a parry. Oh, a nice roll read into the to the into the down strong with cape. Always a weird spot to get put in getting hit by cape. Definitely yeah, a lot makes up Thor's hats off of that. 
punishes him for rolling for holding forward with the F strong. And Koro getting some good callouts on the smoke usage there. And but uh, still has a lot of smoke out. And unfortunately misses the parry there and pays dearly for it. Gonna yeah. be down to their last stock. Oh, uh, again, again, this is the range. punish on, on the on the uppy. So it gets the up strong. Yep. And with Crow having ghost gloves, ghost has a lot better of a, of a neutral now. Uh, almost gets a chase with the up strong. Chase there we go. The roller. I mean, oh, it's really just good. so good being able to hop forward like that and just have the ghost gloves protect yeah. you. Yeah, it is. That's really hard to deal with. This definitely just control. Definitely can just control the pace of the round. But, but uh, let's see what ha that guys. Nice combos. Oh um, no! Too far oh, down. Oh no! Still uh, had the ball jump. Uh, I mean, again, keeps 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 just slightly missing these forward strongs on 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 the uppies. Oh, there and gets go. the up strong. There we go. She, she, she finally gets a game. Yep. See if it works for... Yeah, the problem now is, though, that you got to deal with two counter picks from your opponent if you want to win the set. Yeah, for sure. And it looks like... Like, see, he was going to counter pick to... To, oh, to Treetop. Okay. That's definitely going to give... Horse burn a lot more recovery options and yeah, more platforms to boost off of. Horseburn's, Horseburn's like this stage. Stage I feel, I, I've actually noticed. Because uh, one person I've, I, I've recently I recently played River. They told mm -hmm. me that they really they really like they really like um uh, treetop as Forge Burn. Which makes that makes that makes sense. Nice high platform, low low platform to move off of small small stage. Yep. Plenty of safe spots to put your smoke to teleport to later. Makes yeah. it difficult for the opponent to clear it off. Oh, goes for a cheeky little, uh, little fish, little fill, uh, fish, uh, fish, fishing. And gets, gets super. Gets a uh, combust online. There we uh, gets, go. Uh, gets roll reader down strong. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Gonna burn it this time. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's nice to just try and save for the combust. Sometimes you just gotta keep the stock alive in the yeah, first place. Yeah, they're a little bit lower than, than you'd probably want, but oh well. Yeah. It's still got the stock, and, and still has a game lead as well, so... Exactly. See if, yeah, see if Kuro can make it back. And so far, and so far really even game. Oh, oh, chasing her with the, with the forward capes. Yep. I mean, if you got the disjoint, you may as well abuse it against Shovel Knight before he gets the Ghost Gloves. Yep. I was going to see him using Downstrom a little bit more while in the first game. I noticed he was using, like, up cape quite a lot. Yeah. This is definitely an definitely interesting choice, but, like, oh. up cape... Oh, nice down air! <laughs> Just uh, able to squeeze that in. Uh, uh, I, I was not expecting that down air. Very, very nice, and has a solid stock lead, and see if he can close it out versus Kuro. Yep, here we go. Finally able to take away the advantage there and oh, getting ooh, a good combo off ooh, of it. Nice, nice combo with the, with the uh, clone. Cape down till. Using the smoke to hide him, to hide himself. Yep. Odd. Odd. Kerr getting a little bit too eager with these up, up uh, forward smashes, but so did Sibo. And Cape also go. sends Rock up, and now she has has glo uh, Ghost Gloves, which really helped her out in the la last game. Let's last take a full stock lead. Oh, uh, and oh uh, nope, got got the jab. Yep, good check, good check. Unfortunately, hits the clone, and and she was able to get the punch. And oh, unfortunately. Oh. Yeah, stuck in the Ghost Glove animation there, not able to recover in time to be able to get the up B out. 
Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit too low on the blast zone. Yeah. 